Are you Ms. Cutchell? Yes, I am. Jamie Cutzel makes her first court appearance via video conference in Lancaster County Court Tuesday. Prosecutors are granted another week to file charges so they can review additional evidence against a 33-year-old prison caseworker. According to arrest documents, investigators believe Cutzel smuggled synthetic marijuana or K2 into the penitentiary four times in September and sold it to inmates. Cutzel's arrest comes after prison officials launched an investigation after 15 inmates were found using K2. The pen has been on some degree of modified lockdown ever since. Investigators also believe Cutzel had sex with an inmate on parole in May or June and also corresponded with an inmate using a fake name. She allegedly put $40 in that inmate's account. Well, it's certainly concerning. The chairperson uh, of the legislature's Judiciary the Committee and a committee overlooking corrections says the good news is they caught a suspect, but questions if there needs to be more monitoring of staff and better vetting and hiring. When you are in a position of um, significant distress in terms of numbers, um, you may not look quite as carefully as you otherwise would. Recently, there have been a number of prison workers arrested for inappropriate relationships with inmates or bringing contraband into facilities. In a statement, Corrections Director Scott Frake said, the introduction of any contraband into prison puts my staff and the incarcerated population in danger. Drugs are especially dangerous due to possible medical reactions and potential for violence. I am proud of the investigative work completed by our intelligence team, criminal investigators, and the facility staff. I appreciate the assistance of the Nebraska State Patrol in the arrest. The corrections officer are concerned about this as well because they know it makes it a less safe environment for them. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.